Rockatai Hawa, Rockatai Hawa Shai, Rockatai Hawa, Rockatai Hawa Shai. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, Barakatham. Double honor to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. Now, I was going through some things mentally and everything else, you know, I'm not trying to dive deep into my life for this video. And um, I'm changing my name from Ian Onan. I'm changing it, and my new name is going to be Tezara Ayla, Tezara Ayla, Tezara Ayla, which means to ascend affliction. So from now on, that's my name. And my old videos obviously say Ian Onan, but I'm not taking those videos down just because of that, all right? And, um... This lesson is going to be probably a three-part series, maybe four, but for sure this is going to be a part two and three, and I'm going to, going to, um, going to Mystery Babylon, aka United States of America, and I'm going to start off by, let me dive into, I believe, Revelations 18. Right, right, right. Revelations 18 from the top, verse 1. And after th these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So... Like you see, United States of America is wicked, pure wickedness, man. Pure wickedness. I, I bet, I bet, I bet it is all the demons, man. This probably they, they habitat right now. And it's going to be, the Lord is, um, has new creatures and spirits created just for the, uh, uh, the coming judgment day, man. And where is the most judgment going to hit? The United States of America which is Babylon, that great whore. Uh, verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So what do all these nations do when they were with America? What what do they do? They come to America. They, they, they have some slave labor with they people. Like for iPhones in Taiwan and stuff, an iPhone probably like $25 to make. Come to America, then the whole world, and sell it for a band, $1,000, all right? And that's just a simple thing. You got Alibaba and AliExpress getting filthy rich off Americans, man. And not directly Americans as well as different parts to the puzzle. They can come to America, have their hub here in America to get rich. And then they will go back like with the coronavirus. Once the coronavirus hit, all these uh other nations that came to America, right? All these other people that came to America. They they hightailed and left, man, because they see it's falling. Excuse me. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Right. These politicians and governors and dictators in other countries are cool with America. They they buddy buddy with America. They doing deals with America, but but it's all coming to waste now. Because the Bible goes into how all the nations will go against America. Let me continue. And the merchants of the earth are wax rich. Like I said before, a merchant is someone that has something. They go across the sea or the land, wherever, you know. And then they go to another uh, place, set up shop, and sell their stuff for profit. So back in the ancient days, it will be like spices and oils and swords and armor and clothes, you know. Now it's the same thing, but more futuristic stuff, so... AirPods, AirPod cases, fidget spinners, you know, you know, that's what this is just a merchant. Wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Right. America got every, America got every, what country, you know, man, what country, you know, they got food from all different nations in that country, man. I live in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas has is, I believe, the most diverse city in America. And I just me going out, I see food from. 
um right right down the street it's a whole plaza of um Korean food and um Japanese food, I believe. It's Japanese food and Korean food and they have a whole Korean market there, man. There's so many taco trucks lined up everywhere, man. They got Indian markets, Arab markets, Pakistani markets everywhere, man. Why are they setting up shop in America? Did they build this country? Do they own the vast majority of this country? No. But they getting rich over here. They living comfortably over here. And this country was made off the back of the Israelites, man. Let me go to 14. Revelations 18 and 14. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached into heaven, and Yahweh thy power hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works in a cup which she have filled f have filled filled to her double how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she said in her heart i sit a queen and i am no widow and shall see no sorrow therefore sh shall her plagues come in one day Death and mourning and famine, and sh she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is Yahweh thy power who judges her. So like America. America is what? The land of the free, home of the proud. That's gone. When's the last time you heard that, man? <laughs> When's the last time you heard that? I can't even remember. It's been what for the past couple years? Make America great again. But America is not going to be great again. Let me get into that. We Jeremiah 51 and 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she, she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go every one into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, man, like I said earlier, all these other nations that got rich off America, they dipped out, man. They left. They said, oh, yeah, bounce. They're not dealing with America no more because they see it's crumbling. They see it's falling. And it's not coming out that pit, man. You can't escape this judgment, man. It's already it's already set in stone, man. It's already written on the paper. It's in the mind of the Lord. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, man. And the angels and his people, the Israelites, the and specifically the elect, are um that this place is falling and it can't get up. <laughs> the life alert, man. It's not it's not gonna um it's no way out of this, man. Like I said, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. America, like, um, I believe two days ago, the 6th, because today is the 8th. On the 6th, man, they stormed the Capitol. When has that ever happened, man? They stormed, and obviously we know it was 9 times out of 10 staged. But nonetheless, it still happened, man. And war is in the air, man. It's not going to be pretty out here. Let me go back. Let me keep reading this one. Revelations 18 and 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall be walt her and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning. Yeah, man, because America, America will be shot with ICBM nukes, um, hypersonic nukes. They got a uh, torpedo nukes, man. Russia got a, a nuclear torpedo, man. That is has a nuclear engine, so it can stay thousands of feet underwater undetected for up to twenty years, and has is twice as strong as a Tezar bomba, man. And that's who we don't even know how many they got under there, man. Just thinking about that stuff, man. The, and this is all Yahweh's plan, man. Man, this is crazy when you think about it, but it's exciting at the same time. This is uh, verse 10, Revelations 18 and 10. Standing afar off from the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for one hour is thy judgment come, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buy their merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all ma manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and of iron and marble and in cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. And this is just to name a few. 
of all the uh nations, man, that came here and sold what they need to sell in uh America. And man, America is no hope, and uh, a lot of people are seeing it now. The majority of Americans see America's not coming back, especially with this raid on the Capitol, man. It's not coming back. And I, I talk to my friends and whatever else, and I tell them, bro, you sh- you shouldn't um try to set up shop-, shop here, man. Don't try to make a name for yourself. Just stay stay on the low, live life, and prepare for what's coming. This is not the point to be hustling to get rich just so you can flex or just live D- deliciously it's, this is not the time this is a time of war and survival man but a lot of people are not gonna get it this is real meaty revelations 18 is real meaty so i'm not gonna go into all of revelations 18 on this video i'm gonna hit up shop on um let me hit up isaiah 30 Isaiah 30, Isaiah 30, I'm going to start at 2, that walk, actually, let me start from the top, Isaiah 30 and 1, woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, what are the Israelites doing, so-called Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans, man, they ain't listening to the Lord, man, they doing what they want to do, they trying to get rich, they trying to be 304s, man, they ain't worried about the Lord like that, and if they, if they do say they are Christians, man, you bring this out, they'll deny it. They like that uh plantation Christianity, man. But not of me, and that cover for what they covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And yeah, what are you what are the, these people doing? These people don't even know what the biblical definition, the biblical scripture precept of what is sin, man. And it's sad. It's it's sad. But what can you do? That walk to go down into Egypt. And have not asked at to, at my mouth, and strengthened themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. So what are these uh people doing, man? Prime example. I seen a video, man. He was singing. He was singing, saying he was free because Joe Biden was his president, man. You are you you trusting your oppressors? You're saying another oppressor. And Joe Biden has been on camera verbally talking crap about the Israelites, man. Specifically the Southern Kingdom. From the 90s, early 2000s, man. And this, this, fetch it. <laughs> man, this dude, man, it's sad. It's sad when you see it. And it, it's even more sad when you see your people glorifying it and praising it, man. But, hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Let me see if I can get into some more. Let me go to hit up Isaiah. Let me go down to. Isaiah 24 and 6. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are are burned, and few men left. The new wine mourneth, the vine languishes, languishes. All the merry hearts do sigh. The mirth of the tabrets cease. The noise of them that rejoice endeth, and the joy of the harp cease. Cease. Excuse me. So all the like mirth is mirth is like how how it's like the vibe the vibe of something. So when you go to a party and it's dead, then they put on a certain song and you start dancing and someone else start dancing and y'all vibing out. That's mirth. That's gone. As you can see in America, it's gone, man. The um uh in New York City where it had a Times Square for uh the countdown of the New Year, man, it was dead, man. It was dead. That's the only time in history that's ever been dead, man. Correct me unless it was like something else going on in those in that time period, but nothing like it is now, man. Nothing like it is now, man. Um Let me go to ten. Isaiah twenty four and ten. The city of confusion, 
which is Babylon. Going to the word Babylon is Babel, and Babel means confusion. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is crying for wine in the streets, and all joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone, and the city is left desolation, and the gate, and the gate is smitten with destruction. Yeah, man, America's going down the poop, poop, poop drain, man. It's over. It's, it's GG, man. It's, it's not coming back. It's finna just be mass death and destruction. And for the elect, Lord willing, I'm a part of that number, man. Make it through this. It's salvation. Seeing the angels. The angels coming to protect you. Spiritual power, man. Being comforted in this time. What we would call the end of days, Armageddon, the apocalypse, judgment day, man. It's coming. It's right around the corner, man. And it's a buildup. This is not an instantaneous thing. It's not going to happen overnight. It's piece by piece. Coronavirus. Then the cor uh, I believe the U.S. printed 35% of all its known currency since it started printing currency in 10 months. So hyperinflation. Then food shortages, man. And then with the election, people getting rowdy, man. It's just going to keep getting worse and worse. They already riding and doing all this crazy stuff, man. For uh, BLM and all this hefty nefty bull crap, man. Just wait until there's hyperinflation and food shortages, man. People gonna be dropping dead, man. And not because of heart attacks. Well, not directly from heart attacks, man. <laughs> Let me hit up. Um, This is, I got this on my phone. This is Luke 17. Uh, I'm gonna start with 26 through 30. And, that is, and as it is written, and, excuse me. And as it was in the day of Noah. So shall it show so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man, which is Yahweh Shai. They did eat, they drank, and they married wives. They were given in marriage until the until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as it was in the day of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they brought, they sold, they planted, they built it. And then the Lot was a uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. But the same day that Lot went out. Of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Which is them nukes, man. That fiery serpent, that glittering sword, man. The arrows, man, of steel, man. But I'm going to just end this on this. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Krakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the lake. Shalom.